Hey Rollers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, this is your host, Ro. So in today's video, we're actually going to make two storage containers for my scrap vinyl. I actually have my scrap vinyl right now thrown in my storage drawers where all my other vinyl is currently located, but it's becoming way too crowded and I needed to find some way to store my vinyl. But I saw a video recently, um, I saw two videos actually. Um, one was in one of my favorite YouTubers, Beth Lily, and somebody else actually used her same storage um, idea. So I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna try the same thing. So I went on, um, I wanna say, I did Amazon and then I also went on a few other locations to try to find um, a, some similar storage piece but it was so expensive so i actually found these two containers at walmart wally world as most of us call it and i thought these were just absolutely perfect but you can find them on some of them on amazon uh as well as the container store but i thought these were the perfect ones and then i bought these folders as well on amazon and then these are just basic every tabs and what I did was I actually use the vinyl to color coordinate everything these vinyl are just the ones from Dollar Tree because I have all the colors and I just cut them to fit the size that I needed and use them in color coordinate in color coordinating scraps and all I did was I used the color order from my um, let me put it up so you guys can see I just used the color order from the color wheel I am a big fan of the color wheel so that made it very easy so then I set this one I just use this um, leopard print that's going to be for my pattern vinyl so there you go I just wanted to show you that and I just did one for HTV and the other one's going to be for my regular vinyl so let's go ahead and weed this out and then I just print it out or cut out um, two very simple fonts I'm going to do actually I did a this one I did a um, offset for it and then this one is a very this one is actually um, what is this this one was called a this one's a cricket one but it's a removable vinyl and it's a textured vinyl i think it was called but and i've never used it before it's one of the ones that i found in my stash from eons ago that i've been telling you guys that i've kept in my stash so like i said i've been uh shopping all in my stash i'm just gonna put those together like that let me cut some of this extra off like i was saying is i just picked the font i don't remember what font i used but once i selected the font that i wanted i just decided to go with an offset so and just did it like this i was originally going to use white as the color offset but then when I went and I decided, well, let me try black. I was like, oh, that looks so pretty. And I know I've probably said it a million times. I'm not a big black color person. Because I really do think black is kind of dark, in my opinion. Um, so I don't tend to use it very often even when I'm decorating I just think it's kind of depressing is what I say I mean with my own depression I don't think I need to be using depressive colors but I chose red because I do use a lot of red in my color scheme in my craft space and besides it is my favorite color all right so that will go on with this one like that. I think I got it on there, right? All right. So that will go on just like that. Hopefully, I get it on properly. Okay. 
So let's put this one in here like that and we'll start off with the HTV one. So I got some um, old piece of transfer tape that we're gonna just use so that I can actually get rid of that. I'm just gonna get paper towel and some alcohol just to wipe this off because it's been sitting in my craft room for quite a while until I decided what design I wanted and how I wanted it to look. I had it here for quite a bit. I made the design, but I couldn't decide on um, what colors for sure and how I wanted it all to look. So let's go ahead and see how I want it. If this will be fitting correctly. Yes. Actually, let's see if this one is longer. Because if this one's longer, this one it doesn't really matter at this point so we're just gonna pick up just take a look of it just so I can make sure that it's not overly crooked you guys already know that your throw here is extremely lopsided I'm gonna grab this lip right here and roll it over. This tape is very old, as you can tell. I've used it quite a bit and I wanted to just finish using it so that I can get rid of it. But it still had a little bit more tack to give me. I'm just gonna scrape the back and then we're gonna just lift it up. Bring this over to me, then see if I can position it as centered as possible. When I did this, I just used a basic square on design space to make sure that I got it measured correctly. Now, when you're doing this, you can actually just layer this on top first and then put it all together at the same time. But put this one down. But this for me is a little easier. So a little bit of bubbles. That's okay. We'll just sweep it off and see how it seems. good things about having some grid line to help with us that are quite crooked. There we go. Scoop that up. Flip it over real quick. I thought this one was really pretty. This textured one. Bring a little more dimension, I guess you would say, to this. All right, I'm gonna bring this down just so that I can make sure I can align it as well 
as possible. I could have also went with a white vinyl for, since it's against the black, it might have popped a little bit more, but I really like the way it looked. Sorry if the camera's moving. Scrape that down. Alright, so let's remove this transfer tape. I really like how that looks. Put this right here and let's take this white off. Now, of course, you don't have to do it. Oh, Lord. Let me try to pick this up. Awesome. Now, like I was saying, you don't have to do it the way that I'm doing it. You can actually just as easily. Let me shut this down real quick. You can just do it this way. It will look just as pretty this way. I was just being a little fussy. And you don't have to do no offset. You don't have to do two layers. Nothing of the sort. No offset will look just as awesome. Honestly, I think the only reason I did the offset was I haven't used the offset um, in a while and I wanted to use it. That's just between us.
And I think the only reason that it's bubbling is because I don't have anything under here to give me a lot of pressure while I'm squeegeeing. So it's not something that's very common. But again, it's not really bothering me. But if it does, you can always just take your, your point and you can just, your weeding tool, and you can just make holes. Or you can just take your heat gun, which mine isn't on my desk right now, and activate the adhesive, and that'll settle the bubbles down. But usually once it's active, uh, the bubbles will go, to, go away. All right. So I'm gonna roll this. Set it back down. Push this up again. tape actually still has a lot of stick to it but it's really dirty and I don't want to keep using it scoochie this side offset really big bigger than I really really needed it to be but I should like it So like I said, I did them exactly the same because they're gonna be pretty much the same. It's just HTV and vinyl. And then, so you guys can see that. And like I was telling you guys, all I did was use the H the vinyl from the Dollar Tree because the colors are exactly what I needed. They actually didn't have purple on this. If they do now, I didn't actually didn't have it, but I just used the smaller rolls that they have for the joy piece and then that's all I did was cut them up and then place them on the tabs just as I needed to and I'm just gonna put my scrap finals in here and I'll be good to go so now I have a place dedicated specifically for my scrap pieces tell me what you guys think in the um, comment box let me know what you guys think and um, I'll see you guys in the next video in the meantime hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.